Welcome to Discover Indie Film. I'm your host, Jeff Howard, and today I get to talk to Jeremy Foley and Sarah O'Reilly. This filmmaking team made The Faceless Man that won the Grand Jury Prize at last year's Sherman Oaks Film Festival, which for the record was 2017. Sarah and Jeremy are one of those real-life married couples who write together, make films together, and honestly, between the two of them, there's so much creativity and so much originality that it's no wonder The Faceless Man turned out so well. There are a lot of spoilers in this interview, so what you should do is go to discoverindiefilm.com and watch The Faceless Man right now, then come back and listen to the interview. Okay, you've been warned. Let's talk to Sarah and Jeremy. What was I saying? Oh, yes. People have asked us that before. Like, you guys have a, you know, you live together, you are married, you, you work together. I didn't realize like, you live together. I knew you are married. Yeah, <laughs> you, yes. you live together. No, uh, so unconventional. Going on 10 years now or something. <laughs> 10 years. Congrats. Yeah. So, Bravo. So, thank you. Married for three. Three. But together but you're for living together years. for yeah. nine out of the ten. Yeah. But, yeah, it... It's interesting because, you know, I've thought about it after, you know, after the fact, it never really occurred to me that like, oh, other, oh yeah, like some people have told us like, oh gosh, if I was to make a movie with my significant other spouse or whatever, I'd kill them. (laughs) 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 Um, And we're the complete opposite. I don't think we could uh, be as successful without one another. And it is interesting. (laughs) It's true. Um... Yeah, we started out first before we were dating, before we were living together, before we were married. We started out as co-workers first. Right, co-workers. And did you find that you both had an interest in film? Mm-hmm. Was that one of the things that bonded you before you even <clears throat> yeah. started dating? Or yeah. was it like the yeah. first date you said, I'm a writer. Oh, I'm a writer too. I love film. Or, I mean, the company that we both met at uh, is a film you know, production, behind-the-scenes production company. So that right away, yeah, was kind of like well, everyone's interested in, or should yeah, be. Every, yeah. everyone, <laughs> everyone is working there because they we're here for yeah. the same yeah. reason. We all like to right. watch movies. Yeah, so. right. So, so no one's working that company <laughs> and having lunch and going, "Oh, you like film too?" Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you, you have creative aspirations. <laughs> yes. Like that's that's why everyone lives in this city. But it's making true. our yeah. own films, I feel like, because I you were making stuff before I really did, like. Um, yeah. You were making you little your own shorts web series, and web series and, shorts. and things like that. Yeah. And then I think I got into it. I was telling you a, a short or a, a feature idea that I had, and and Jeremy was like, "I want to make that." And I yeah. Was like, really? That's right. And yeah. then he was like, "Write it. I want to make it." And that yeah. was faded. That was our. our That's first a really short big film. deal. The odds of someone saying, "I have an idea for a film," and the other person liking it. That's yeah. huge. It yeah. was such a, an excellent idea that you had I remember you had a couple more that you would tell me and I would keep coming back to that one because I was like man it's so good it's so good it was like fantastic it's still you know we're still working on it <laughs> yeah. it's not the over yet version, yeah. Yeah. Um, it. but I mean how many co-workers have you had in your life who say I got an idea and then you hear it and you're like oh that's a terrible idea yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's you know? true that, so, no, that, so that was a nice happen. that was a nice uh, yeah. screening process for your relationship that does that, yeah that, that happens equally, quite a lot that, that, that you're both talented yeah usually you're right you hear ideas and you're like well it's pretty good <laughs> yeah, or something like that yeah you don't go oh we're all in yeah right yeah. and return yeah. to it and say that idea of yours like flesh it out more. keep coming, yeah. Yeah, yeah kept on coming back to it I remember that yeah you because know, it was it was cool so was it just naturally growing like like the personal and work relationship just both evolved just very naturally gosh I think Sounds I've like never it. really thought about it I I, I know, guess right? so it's been a while what do you think yeah. I mean, yeah, like, I think we were together first, yeah. and he was doing his own creative stuff, and then, yeah, and then we were like, let's do this one together, this yeah. our last short, and now it's like, we don't want to do anything without the Well, other because one. Sarah was <laughs> such a fantastic writer, too. I mean, she really is, even at work, you know, the, again, going back to that, because it, it was interesting, we started out as co-workers first, at work, like, Sarah's like, just a fabulous writer. Like, she always was, even there. She's shaking her head. Yeah. With yeah. humility. Yeah, but, yeah. But Thank humility you, yeah. is a good <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really good. So, 
even at work, that was always like her strong suit and still continues to be like, you know, people really value that in you. And so, yeah, so I guess it did just, you know, a natural thing that she was such a great writer anyway, and then had this great idea anyway. And at that time I was starting to get a little bit more, I guess, uh, ready to get a little bit more serious about filmmaking. And, and yeah, it kind of worked out great, huh? Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> actually, were you, good were you both uh, film school graduate types, or...? I, I went to Boston University. I did the film television program there, yeah. Um, and to... I was not, Jeff. I was an actor. Nope. I was that an was actor for... That was, I, it's true, yeah. <laughs> I was an actor for many, many years. I was an actor all through my teen years up into my early 20s. And pretty, you know, some some moderate success. Um, so that was really my background. Yeah, that was my film school. I've met a lot of filmmakers who started in acting. Tons. And, yeah. and, uh, and found that their artistic vision just lent itself to, like, I want to be more involved in the creation than just the, not the last step, but... Yeah. But oh, then, being, absolutely. then being one of the filmmaker's tools, I want to be holding the toolkit. Yes. Not oh, being yeah. in the toolkit. Oh, yeah. It was, um, since I was pretty young, because I was acting when I was a teenager, and, uh, you know, I was on set a lot, and that's really when I got to see, like, oh, wow, like, you know, because I'm from San Diego, my parents were not in the film industry, knew no one in the film industry, um... But we loved movies, and I remember I would watch movies and see credits and stuff, but I didn't know what any of it meant. I didn't know what a director or producer or, you know, kind of like very vague ideas, but you could see the actors. So I was like, oh, <laughs> an actor, that's, that's what I got to do. And then it was once I was finally actually doing that, I was like, oh, no, wait a second. There's, <laughs> I finally understand. But you yeah. did act for years. Yes, for, I did. For quite yeah, a long yeah, time. Yeah, I acted for It sounds about, like almost a decade. Uh, yeah, maybe even a little bit more. A yeah. little bit more. Um, and it was great. I loved acting. And, uh, but it was interesting once I was on set and I was doing it that... I started to see everybody else, and I was like, oh, my God, there's so much more to this than just an actor. And, all, you know, my whole life, or growing up, whatever, I'd only seen the actors. And so that's just kind of all my brain, I guess, thought about. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was actually, yeah, it was once I was working there, I was able to see, oh, man, there's so much more to this, and there's so many other jobs, and especially... That job, I think that's that's really cool. I like the one in charge. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't even that. It was just more like, wow, this guy, you know, these people are the ones who are making the movies that I really like. The creators, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow. So there's actors and there's camera guys and there's grip guys and there's, you know, sound and there's costume department and there's all these different things. But there was this one person who could make it all come together. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, man, that's... That's the coolest. That's even better than an actor. That's the... Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was my background. Cool. A, a nice balance for a partnership. The, I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Never really thought about the, that. Yeah, also the, the, the graduate and then the, the practical, really. Yeah, experience, yeah. yeah. yeah it's true, yeah. Cool. So, so Faded was the first collaboration? or yeah. yeah, that was our first together that was... And, and before that, I had been making some, like little music videos and some web series and stuff like that. And, you know, it had been growing, you know, and it had been getting bigger and everything had been getting more, you know, a little more complicated and a little heavier logistic planning. And Sarah sort of started helping. Yeah. You know? It helped a little. But, the yeah, yeah, Faded was the first one that was, like, true ownership where I didn't sleep for... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that was the partnership. Right. Yeah. Yeah, was. So, so you were you were helping out earlier. Yeah, yeah. And then for Faded, it was the full, were you technically producer? Oh, yeah, writer and producer. Writer, yeah. producer, yeah. and producer. I had no idea what I was doing. So his producer, yeah. really, you're his boss. You're the director's boss. Mm, yeah. yeah. Pretty in, good. In work and life, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Pretty good boss. Pretty good boss. Yeah. yeah. It was good. It was a good... It's a good... We'll, we'll send it to you. Yeah, or you can yeah. watch yeah, it actually, on iTunes. I wish, it's I on iTunes. I, uh, yeah. 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 It's we'll a good send, one. Yeah, we'll send, yeah. It, we'll send it to you. We'll send it to you. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, 
yeah, that was our first like real collaboration, I think, as partners. Yeah. And then this one, and now the next one, and the next, you know, the next few. Right. That's good. We have a good balance, I think, because we think about things so differently, but the same. It's weird. Like, I'll look at things in a different way, but we'll come to the same conclusion, kind of, you know? Like, yeah. I, I feel we like could, I have We a, could talk it out. Yeah. I'm sometimes more practical, I guess. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's it's such a great collaboration because you you have collaborative spirits. Yeah. So it's yeah, not true, no. Yeah. I don't hear any of the. Well, I need my vision in this. Mm-hmm. Like you both understand. That, yeah. That it's about something bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Serving the story. Yeah. Truly is. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you can't be. You know. I, I, I guess. I don't like it when directors or anybody really is too self-involved about their vision. I think that's like a little like... Especially in film, it's such a collaborative yeah. medium. Like, you have to take it. It's everyone else's... Yeah, this is putting yourself above... Every, putting yourself above the movie shouldn't ever happen. Yeah. It should always be about the movie. <laughs> more than anything. More than any one person, you know. Yeah. 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 So in your constant collaboration, in, in just your life of collaboration yeah. right, together... So your dad wrote the story for Facebook. He did, dad. yeah, yeah. And then so you were just having dinner or lunch together. And <laughs> so my dad wrote the story, I think, would make a good short. Or, like, is she your first pitch? Almost. No, I think it's... Uh, so we had finished our our last film, Faded, and we had done the festivals with that. And, you know, we had that picked up by a, a shorts distributor. And we'd had, you know, we'd had a good run with it. And... We were feeling pretty good, and we didn't want to jump right into the feature world. I remember I was like, I want to, I want to do one more of these big shorts, um, just to sort of like get my confidence level up and just feel a little bit, you know, uh, I don't know, just a, a, a little bit more solid footing before jumping into a feature. And we were looking for something to do, and we were tossing around ideas. And I remember my dad had this story, and you really liked it. Mm-hmm. You read it, yeah. and Sarah was the one who was pushing for this. Yeah, I remember, I remember we were we were talking about a couple other ideas, and and I just was like, you know, none of these are sparking me as much as the faceless man. Like it just yeah, you'd really liked so it. So memorable and and so, unusual. So you you responded to your father in law's material. Yeah, I mean he did too, and yeah. and but it was just it was one of those that was like. You know, if we can figure out how to do this, like yeah. it'll be pretty. That was incredible. the. I think that was the trick because I read it and I was like, "Wow, I've never seen anything like this." Um, and I was like, "Man, I don't know how we do this." And so I think I showed it to Sarah, sort of like if Sarah can figure it out, uh, or so you know what I mean. Like uh-huh. if she, she'll tell me if this is possible, or I'm just, you know. Just totally crazy here. But then, yeah, you really liked it, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you wanted to do it. So you both recognized it as something special. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. That was pretty, you know... And something that'll catch the eye of anyone uh, at a film festival or at a production company. They'll see that and go, okay, there's a vision here. Yeah, Yeah. I, I literally never seen anything where a man had you know, woken up with this insane transformation. I mean, I guess the closest we were, we talked about it a lot when we were adapting it would, would be the metamorphosis. That yeah. was something that was like a yeah. real touchstone for us. Like, you know, what other story has a guy who just, and, and there were a lot of similarities. Like it just picks up from him literally waking up. Yeah. No explanation. There's no, just... you know, there's no. Yeah. You don't see him the night before when he has a thing. Yeah. No, no, yeah. not at all. Not at all. It was so. It and was him being very the, similar. The manifestation of like, how, how he's feels. feeling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also just the way that people were reacting to him. It wasn't in the in the metamorphosis as I remember. It was people were a little more shocked, but, but still not like not yeah that much. You <laughs> yeah. know, it was it wasn't like yeah, not that much. Yeah, you know, they were still dealing with him. Right. right. Just like in not faces, running yeah. away screaming. Faces, yeah. <laughs> and there was such a. Um, unique tone to the short story that I really love. Like, it had a lot of, uh, you know, comedy 
which was, you know, it, it, it was an unusual, and it was, it was first person too. So you were in his head and kind of discovering it with him as he went along. And, um, and I loved that too, just that evolution of the character and, and yeah, the, the kind of like offbeat comedy. And then of course was... the man with the mirror and people revealing their inner narratives and that somehow means something to him. It was just yeah, because like, we yeah. even don't know what they're seeing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they're speaking to him like he's not a guy with a mirror on his face. They're just speaking to their inner selves. To themselves. Yeah. Through him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's very... Uh, and that was in the story too. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, wow, that's... I haven't seen that. Yeah. Some fun themes to play and, with there yeah. too. Yeah. Sarah and I really like the... Uh, if the... I haven't seen that. Is yeah. That's kind of our... Yeah. That's kind of our go-to. Like, like to challenge ourselves. <laughs> yeah. well, that's also that's that's important. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Whether it's a feature or a short. Yeah. You know, being able to say, besides being able to say, no one who was at that film festival in Sherman Oaks last year, no. would not know what I'm talking about if I mentioned, you know, the faceless man. <laughs> yeah. Like they'll remember the film. Yeah. They'll remember, you know, that it was the guy who woke up with the mirror. With the mirror for six. Yeah. yeah, we get it a lot. We get it <laughs> a yeah. lot. But that's important. Just like <laughs> it is. you know, just like Shape of Water. Right. Yeah. yeah. Which won Best Picture last night. It's pretty easy to describe that film to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is. It, it's interesting because when we saw Shape of Water too, I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of, uh, you know, just the whole makeup process and just the fantasy aspect the fantasy to it aspect and, yeah. I was like yeah. oh I yeah. know I I really feel uh in line with this movie yeah. in some way I was like oh, yeah, yeah we know. always call the face man an offbeat fable yeah and you know it's right, a fable. Like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah that was actually my reaction to shape of water when I was talking to the theater yeah. I was like wow uh, a fantasy film for adults yeah adult yeah. fairy tale yeah, yeah. yeah. which yeah. is kind of what we did yeah and so I was like oh you know when we saw it I remember we left the theater and I was like yeah, just felt very in line with what he's, at least Guillermo del Toro is doing. It's like, oh yeah, okay, there's, I guess it gave us hope that like, there might be a place for us in this, yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> movie making world. You're, like, you're, you're, you're questioning, we like original things. Yeah. yeah. And maybe no one wants original yeah. things anymore. Original. They do. They a do. little weird, a you know, like some like. A little like, weird, yeah. and, but, uh, but ultimately Perky. very heartwarming. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Um, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's. You can be offbeat without being off putting. Mm-hmm. You can, yeah. 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 And he certainly proved it. Was it was encouraging, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. So then, faceless. So you made faceless together, and and I know from yeah. the festival all the the technical difficulties oh you guys boy. went through, and yeah. all. The, but I still think you made great choices. Okay. You know, to to use a real mirror instead of uh, green and be yeah. digital, and yeah. and to put all that all that weight on your lead actor Billy of being a cameraman pointing his face like a yeah. He was incredible. But I think it all comes out. I think it all makes it a more organic experience for a viewer. Yeah. No, we thought so, too. I mean, because we went back and forth on that a lot. We were like, should we, like, you know... I think your first gut instinct was to do visual effects, I was racking my brain on how to do it because, again, when we read it and we liked it and we decided we wanted to do it, the biggest question was, like, how the the heck are we going to pull this (laughs) off? Like, there's just... We didn't know, and... I was thinking of having our actor wear almost a chrome Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer kind of nose that a digital compositor would then be able to take and split out to see the reflection and how the light was hitting. I'm sure it could be done that Yeah, way. Yeah. I, I think it could. And I actually was like, well, that's probably the best way to do it. But that would just be... Yeah. We'd be talking yeah. about this movie yeah. in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> well, but also, I actually yeah. think you would have lost a lot of immediacy between him and the other actors. I, I think so. Yeah. Because yeah. all of a sudden, you'd have to tell actors, okay, you're seeing your reflection. Yeah. 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 You and know, just which, the real not thing... Not that actors can't do that. Yeah. No, no, yeah. <laughs> the real thing is never, you know, even now, I think, still, that's why that uh, Shape of Water is so successful. I think it's a real person yeah. in that suit. Yeah, and, it's a man. You yeah. know, practical effects are, there's something to them that just... Yeah, they're coming back, too. Yeah. Absolutely. I think mm-hmm. the dial went, the pendulum swung so far the other way yeah. that now people are, 
you know, it's Craving swinging another. back and mm-hmm. people really like it. Actually, I, I think I read that George Lucas visited um, The Last Jedi set or whatever, and yeah. they showed him all the models, and he's like, why are you using models? <laughs> yeah. They're like, because we want to have the feel of the original. And Lucas is like, that's a terrible decision. But of course, that's why his movies yeah. aren't good anymore, yeah. and theirs are better, yeah. because, mm-hmm. yeah, there's some realness. Yeah. We don't there need totally any artificialness yeah. in our lives. Yeah. 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 So, and it was good. It was, boy, it was a real challenge. And it, it, I'm glad we did it practically too, because we learned so much. I mean, about working with makeup. Yeah. With heavy prosthetic makeup and just practical stuff and just the build time and, you know, collaborating with makeup artists and what's possible and what's not possible. And yeah, this is yeah, it very, was a very uh, process, sure. big learning curve. Big learning yeah. curve. But that's actually a skill that oh, yeah. I would expect could pay off. I mean, there is an Oscar category for yeah. this <laughs> kind of makeup. Yeah, yeah. And Lord knows if film festivals were in the habit of giving a prize <laughs> for makeup, yeah. I don't think there's a film fest you would have dominated. You would have won, you would be batting a thousand. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think, you know, I think we went to one that did. And we actually didn't win, but this was a complete genre festival. So there was some wild stuff. I mean, people were really, remember? Yeah. yeah. Like fantasy sci-fi yes. stuff? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but but yeah, we were definitely nominated. I mean, So you we lost to right a, hu- a human-unicorn hybrid yeah. something, <laughs> Some crazy, I can't yeah. even remember now. I think the whole movie might have been populated with characters like that. I mean, yeah. it was, Yeah. Yeah, I guess I wasn't thinking of that kind of film. <laughs> they're, they're, out there. they're out there. Yeah, we, we yeah. went to. Yeah, I mean, we've we've seen a lot of shorts this year. <laughs> yeah, and the, really it's interesting too. Like the people ask what genre our film is, and it's always hard to categorize it. But we, yeah, we did submit to some genre ones because it's a you know weird. Yeah. Offbeat fantasy. Fable. Well, it is a compliment to you that it's hard to define. <laughs> yeah. But I would almost. It's almost comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I, mean, I say. I'm I mean, like, it is weird. it is dramatic as well, but mm-hmm. but it's it's it leaves. I think comedy. We give that label to things that make us feel good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wish a drama makes you feel bad, mm-hmm. but in a good way. But but yeah, yeah, I almost think you made a comedy. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. I think so too. It's yeah. been <clears throat> one of our favorite things about it. It's true. It's it it is. It's been a little tough to kind of pin it down into a specific genre, but we kind of like that. You know, it's been called a drama. It's been called a comedy. It's been called a fantasy. Um, and it's all of those things. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We're happy with that. You know, all of our stuff is kind of... <laughs> yeah. It's, hard all, to it's, kind, of, it's yeah. kind of all like there, that. You're, you're being sophisticated <laughs> artists instead of knowing that, like, I make bromance movies about <laughs> yeah. boys in high school, yep. and it's just straight up gross sex comedy. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You're, you're giving yourselves the challenge of being sophisticated adults, but how could you sleep at night otherwise, right? I, I, I agree. I yeah. agree. I we think like we're that. all in. Yeah. On the dramatic comedy, maybe, is what a lot of people, you know, I know dramedy is maybe not the, everyone's favorite word anymore, but... Yeah, dramatic yeah. comedy. We like heart. We like our stories to have yeah. some heart to yeah. them. A lot of heart. A yeah. lot of heart. Yeah, well, I mean, that's Lovely. obviously, yeah, I guess because the Oscar was fresh in my mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, Lady Bird, Three Billboards, all, all mm-hmm. of them had laughs mm-hmm. and serious moments. And yeah. Totally did. And it, yeah. It, if you very, hit that right, it's like the best. Type it's of super movie. rewarding, yeah. Yeah. I think, for audiences. That's, yeah. yeah. And the audience reaction to Faces Man has been fantastic. I mean, everyone is very... I mean, people are shocked when we tell them it's real. Yeah. That's the first kind of... You see their eyes glaze over as they, like, replay it in their head. They're like, oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, I guess that was probably real. <laughs> um, but also, yeah, a lot of people have been responding to the heart. Yeah. And the, nice. and the comedy. Like, I love watching it with an audience and seeing what people... Laugh at like where it like, gets a <laughs> yeah. big you know yeah everybody's laughs, always, and, uh, some audiences are different than others and yeah some people when nice. they when it first starts they you can tell they're just like what am I watching yeah. like they it takes a little while to get get into it and figure out what it is usually around the little boy people have a there's a laugh there and people are like oh okay 
I can I can laugh. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, he says you're yeah. weird or whatever. Yeah, yeah. well, he drops yeah. the ball. And, yeah. 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 But yeah. That's true. You start off with a really funny moment where the kid makes faces. And yeah. that actually wasn't in the short story. We added no, that. that wasn't. Yeah. Because we wanted a little, like, innocent, innocuous sort of moment that where he you didn't quite know what was going on yet with his, yeah. with his face and yeah. how people are responding to it. So we added that. And just that. a little... And something levity, yeah. some, some funny yeah. right up front. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, because this you are doing the visual interpretation mm-hmm. of this story. Yes. So, yeah. yeah, you don't need that moment in the short story, mm-hmm. but you sure as heck need it in the film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We changed uh, just a few little things, too, now thinking about that adaptation. And we changed the end. Yeah, we changed the end. That was end. probably the most significant thing that we did is that, you know, obviously the story, it's, you know, story is not a film, and the story, the ending was much more ambiguous. Well, I think the the wife came back. I, I One of the things I liked about the short story, too, and that we did in the film was the wife came back and had no idea what happened. He went on this whole crazy adventure, right, and she right. was, like, none the wiser. Um, and that was in the story, but but he didn't have quite as much of a an arc and a... And a Resolution. Appreci- yeah, yeah, appreciating her and saying that and all that. Uh, so that's something we he, we we did that too. But those were kind of the only two big because he had it in his head, but not to her. You and know, not he vocalizes it like a film. big physical reveal. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, no. I think you two are biased because you have a healthy relationship. So you finish <laughs> you finish the film with a really sweet moment of you can see that this is a healthy relationship that they have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, and maybe the night before had been actually really rough. With what's going on with them. Yeah. 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 A good partnership. Yeah, I think for a while, like, the backstory we tried to layer in was that, you know, they've been struggling and he's out of work and she's kind of supporting them and, yeah. and you know, it had been a long time coming for him to have this sort of realization. And it's, yeah, that's true. Yeah. We did really want to make it a good relationship. It, in fact, we had a lot of <clears throat> maybe feedback towards the beginning of the process, like, Oh, make make it you know make the wife hate him more, or make more her bitchy, yeah. a little more yeah. bitchy, or a little more. And it was like that's. I mean, that's definitely a. Uh, it would have been maybe a little bit easier for people to understand what was going on, but I don't think that's necessarily the reality. Yeah, the, uh, people who have been married for a long time. The, you know, there are ups and downs, and sometimes one person is stronger than the other person. One person is holding the other person up a bit, and we wanted we defi- to... We definitely have gone through that with our <laughs> <laughs> part filmmaking Film partnership. Making, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, we wanted to show that, and that's a little more complicated, and not as, quite as easy to just see immediately. Oh, she's the put-upon wife who doesn't like him, and he's the, you know, ungrateful schlub of a husband... Kind of yeah. Well, there you go with your with your instincts about being original too, and you you just that that other way would have been very pat, Mm -hmm. very pat. Yeah, Yeah. Mm -hmm. and and you don't seem like the people who want to let's let's make a pat film. The people seen before. (laughs) Let's use the standard casting, you know, uh, central casting version of the unhappy couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We had we had a lot of pushback to do that. Yeah, we stuck to our guns with that one. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was good, and I'm happy we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of the nicest good. compliments we got <laughs> after screening the film, someone came over to us and was like, "I went outside and called my wife and thanked her because you know I've been away for a while and everything." And like, it was just so nice that he got such like an emotional reaction out of that. Like, yeah, you know, no, I think was great. people yeah. are surprised by the the emotion that you get when watching it too. Like, yeah. That, that seems to be one of the biggest things too, is that people are really, sh- you know, they didn't expect that at all. At yeah. all. The kind of like emotional to, uh, you know, to hit them that way. Yeah. After going which on this good. weird adventure. Yeah. Which is what we <laughs> like too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just had a realization about your film, which is bear with me that it actually does represent filmmaking in a way, because when people watch a film, they mm-hmm. see themselves reflected in it. Mm-hmm. It's true, yeah. and that's and they and so that's what they take home. So, so your film is actually yeah. something that people watch and they see a thing about people seeing their reflections and reacting to themselves. And people watch your film and they have that same yeah. experience that yeah. the people in there have. That's interesting. Yeah, I never yeah. I didn't catch that, but this is where well, you yeah. could we could almost get film professory with this yeah. film. Yeah, that, yeah, your that, that your audience that you... is having the experience mm-hmm. of yeah. the people 
who are looking into his face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or his not a face. <laughs> his, yeah. His there you go. Wow, that's, yeah. Mirrored that's good. There are going to be uh, film school classes <laughs> on, on the face of Sam. Good. Ooh. Great. We'll, it's we'll going to happen. Yeah. We'll go and talk. And <laughs> we'll, we'll do it at UCLA yeah. Annex. We'll, you know, <laughs> everyone who says I go to UCLA Film School, but it's really the Annex, that's what we'll, we'll nice. do it right there. All right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, we have a, we've had a great reaction from people. Yeah. People are... They like it, yeah. yeah it's been fun. It's been nice. It's nice to know that when you make a good film, you yeah, get a good yeah. reaction. You know? <laughs> it is. Yeah. 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 It's great. It's great to be like, oh, yeah, thank you. You really liked it. Yeah. yeah. So was that has that boosted you for the next thing? Do you feel... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're too humble to think I kick ass and yeah. we kick ass yeah. and we're gonna take on the world with the next no, one because we know what we're doing. Both this this film and our last film both kind of are like high concept, offbeat ideas. Mm-hmm. And our mm-hmm. next the feature that we're we have written and are trying to develop right now is also a, a Kind of in that genre. So yeah. it gives us confidence that we can <laughs> execute it and pull it off. You know, like yes. prove to people that we could pull this weird concept off. Yes. So, so I guess we, in that we way. We just don't make anything easy on ourselves. <laughs> it's difficult. It's, uh... <laughs> but like you said, it's like, what? We can't go the easy way. Yeah. Why? But high concept also means original. Yeah. And, it, and challenging. And yeah, that's, again, just like people can remember this film that they saw at a festival... I'm sure your high concept, which I don't know, people who read the script but within a production company or something can say, you know, the one with, you yeah. know, the sheep that explodes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is, no, that is very true. And that is a lot of the reaction and feedback we're getting is that it is very, you know, it's delightfully odd. It's very memorable. Original. It's yeah. very original. I need someone to take the chance. And it is. It's <laughs> kooky. It's kooky, but yeah. it does have that, that beating heart at the center of it. So, no, it, it's true. Like in a filmmaking sense, to actually to make the film that we want to make, that is not the I guess struggle that we're going to have. It's it's finding partners to. Partners and finance yes. in that, to, that world. To mm-hmm. believe in this kooky little idea that we have. Yeah. Uh, that will be the challenge. But, but I think those both of our shorts help that cause. Correct. In, yeah. in, hopefully. I think, so. I think so. That's the, that's the goal, we at least. We certainly have proof. We certainly <laughs> have, if yeah. anyone likes the project and they want to see what else you've done, yes. you can show them two great things. Right, yes. Yeah. We feel great about that. That has been a very... That is... Uh, something that we feel confident with that we can be like, okay, look at these. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and this. you're not in the situation that I know people that are in where they show something and they go, look at this and imagine what I could do if I had mm-hmm. resources. That you is made true. something that is great on its own terms. That is true. You know, no one watches Faceless Man and goes, oh, if only they'd had. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You know, digital like, it effects. Has, it has, it has, <laughs> it's yeah. everything it needs to be. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Um. Yeah, we feel it's true. Yes, thank you. We we do feel very good that we have two other things that we can sort of rely on to show our style and our tone and everything like that. So yeah, we're just on to the next guy, trying to get this, trying to get this next one ready. Which Lord knows is that it, it is, uh, but it's a testament to I'm. Um, I'm I'm in your corner. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and thank I'm rooting you. Yeah, for it to yeah. happen. And and yeah. Lord knows that's you know if it were easy then yeah yeah it's true yeah, it's true it's true yeah that's yeah. tough and it's yeah. fun though it's fun like I love I mean you I like writing more than you do it you, he yeah he begrudgingly does <laughs> it but Seriously? he's very good well, at actually, it <laughs> and, and you have the discipline for editing right you had to step away for the edit I yeah. did and, yeah and Sarah yeah, took care of it yeah, yeah on this one in particular. Faceless Man was really, you know, it was it was a challenge for me. It really was. There was, you know, every single shot, every single shot was a challenge, um, which is different than, you know, a lot of other times you're shooting stuff and you know what shots and what sequences are going to be tricky and you're going to burn up a lot of time and you know which ones are going to be easy and you're going to be able to save time. You know, two guys sitting at a diner table you're like oh we're gonna 
We're going to zip through that one. Yeah, yeah. Do the establishing. Yeah. Boom, boom, this coverage, boom. This coverage, give me an over the shoulder. Yeah. And then you, you break for lunch. Exactly, exactly. On, on this one, that was just not the case. There was literally no shot that I was like, oh, this is going to be a cakewalk. Everything was tricky. Um, and so, you know, in the edit, I would just see the mistakes yeah, and the watching things. Watching the dailies was like, oh, rough. <laughs> I couldn't, I could have just fixed that if I just would have done this or that. Or So, yeah. yeah, I had to step away and Sarah had to take care of this one. Which editing this was <laughs> weird because, you know, a lot of, a lot of the scene or a lot of the movie is, is, you know, dialogue scenes like him, people talking to the faceless man and. And, you know, normally when you're editing something, you have one person's side of the coverage and the other side, like you were just saying. But with this, it was literally the actor's face and a reflection of the actor's face. And cutting between them was really hard. Yeah, like, was you difficult. couldn't cheat. You couldn't slip dialogue like you normally would. Mm-mm. If their face, their performance was, their face was different between the two, you couldn't put the two the two takes right. together. Right. Like, that was challenging. You had to, you know, and... and Oh, some of them we had planned on letting them go, like, as one long mm-hmm, take. Like, mm-hmm. that was always the intention. Yeah. But, um, but, yeah, it was it was challenging, especially when it was like, oh, I can't use that one. There's a little bit of camera in the reflection. No. Or, like, it was yeah. tough. It was tough. <laughs> you did, uh, Sarah did an incredible job, though, because uh, uh, another thing that made this one different than all the previous stuff was that, you know, usually it's like you have whatever, five good takes, let's say, and the two kind of not-so-good ones. This time you had six not so good ones and the one that actually would work and and not just for like performance but like technical reasons like you would catch C stands or you know operators hands or you know just you literally couldn't yeah, that mirror was a grenade on screen yes yeah. and yeah. it would just blow up at the wrong times and, and just show you what you anything want to see. Yeah, yeah yeah so it was like and really that's something you could have yeah if you had unlimited budget then you just go in and fix yes, yeah. fix it in post right. which means spend tons of money yeah, yeah. it's funny because you had the advantage that obviously <laughs> all of all of uh O'Leary's dialogue was ADR. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. So you, you had total freedom of how oh, you could change his dialogue. It's yeah. true, yeah. An item. And we and did. We did, yeah. we did, We actually. added some. And, and we tweaked it. We and worked we... with Billy, and he came over a couple times, and we recorded, like, scratch yeah. to get the pacing of the cut down. And yeah. yeah. But it was nice. It was nice to have that, that luxury. Yes. I will say Billy was... Whew, man, he is the biggest... He's the MVP for this whole thing. Just, you know, an actor in a short film, you think somebody who just shows up for the weekend and does their thing. But Billy was, he had to be in from the beginning. I mean, the build. Of the mask, yeah. Before we could even go into pre-production. And then once we were through production, which was very, very hard on him. Just, you know, three hours a day, you know, 100 degree weather. uh, Very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And then in post-production, it was a, a extreme, you know, a long post-production process because, of course, we did have to record his dialogue. And so he came over to our apartment for like two or three sessions, I think. And just like this, we recorded Scratch Track and then we had to go into the booth into, you know, an actual ADR booth and do it a couple of more times. Yeah. Billy was, yeah. uh, he was, was a soldier a long, for a long time. Long yeah. process. And he never, uh, he never gave you a hard time. He, he was. Well, bad. I wouldn't say that. Well, <laughs> but still, it, he's it, a it, he was it, uh, <laughs> He had fun with you, but yeah, he, yeah, yeah, it is, it is admirable that he cares enough about the art, and yeah. he's. He was you know, dedicated. You know, for he those who, if yeah. you watch the film and you see the end, you'll know his face. He's a very well-known actor. He he's is, a character he's an, actor who everybody has seen a hundred times totally yeah. totally yeah. prolific and yet not jaded not like no no not. he was he was our partner i mean yeah. really in this movie it was me sarah and billy yeah and our cinematographer beginning. will mm-hmm. that were yeah. like the, the the team that made yeah. this movie really and he really loved us. he really connected to the story too oh really. my god that was I mean, amazing there's, there's unestablished actors who would call bullshit and say i'm out of this you, oh. you gotta finish up without me yeah. i mean it no. was yeah. you know and it was my great fear yeah that might happen. Yeah, I remember the say, festival, yeah. You, yeah. you were like, you tried to talk him out of it. I yeah. almost did, in a weird way. Like, I tried to be very... He'll, he'll tell you something different. <laughs> he says, I didn't. I totally did not do that. I, I called BS on him for that one. I really was very, very 
brutally honest yeah. because my biggest fear was that he would show up and go like, whoa, wait a second. This, this isn't what I signed up for. And he never even, he never even came close to saying something like that. I mean, he really was dedicated no, 110%. We, yeah, we were all more worried about him than he was about himself, I yeah. think. We were all like, Billy, are you okay? Yeah. He's, <laughs> like, he's, he's a tough guy. He's, yeah. a, he's a pro. Yeah. yeah, he is. He was in it. He's, he's a tough it. character, that Billy. <laughs> it really is admirable, and it's wonderful that it's, it's wonderful that you found someone. I yeah. can't believe it. We, that we couldn't have, we wouldn't have been able to do it. No. We talked about that. We were like, if we can find the actor who's crazy enough to do this with us. And if we can figure out this makeup process. Yeah. Two things, yeah, that made this movie it. possible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this short, this short film. If he had someone <laughs> whose body matched his. He could have done the, the <laughs> ending and the voice. So, <laughs> Jeff, yeah. that was uh, seriously as again this whole pre production. You know, just me and Sarah like thinking about how we're going to do this. That was an idea. That, yeah. Like, we, can we find a body double to be the guy in the mask, and can we just get an actor for two days who can do the beginning? Of the movie and the end of the movie. Yeah. And we actually asked some friends who work in casting, like, is this even possible? And even they were like, <laughs> yeah, I would recommend not doing that. You know? <laughs> because people will get a feel that it's different when I, that body I can't different. even remember. This was a while ago. I mean, this was really early on when we were thinking about all this stuff. Because th- that was a big concern. Like, who are we going to get? I think getting people to commit to a short film is tough yeah, and then just coordinating two people's Anyways, schedules, yeah. I think, would have was, you know, we got to get the body double, and we got to get the actor who matches them, we got to get two sets of wardrobe, and we got to get, yeah, you know... The hair to match, probably got to make a wig. Yeah, and, the hair, yeah, you know, it was just, just logistically, it was like, oh, <laughs> well, that's right, the hair, the hair is there. Yeah. yeah. The hair, and the skin, and just, yeah. the, you know, everything, like... You know, you would you would tell it's. But we like it. Also, Billy's like a great body actor. Like he, oh, he's amazing. Is amazing. Yeah, he's, he's performing the entire time. Yeah. So yeah, it, the, is, the idea yeah. is actually terrible. And he did he had, such a good job at that. Been, you know, because Billy's a, a, a highly trained, highly skilled actor, and he is himself an, an acting coach, which is how we got hooked up with him. He's my sister. <laughs> and, um, yeah, she she goes to his studio. She, yeah, yeah, his very successful acting studio. Um, Billy O'Leary Studios. Anyone yeah. listening? William O'Leary. I William think he O'Leary. pushes himself oh, yeah. because yeah. SAG. He's William. Oh, mm-hmm. William. I don't. You know. I think his. But his acting. Oh, is his, is his studio? His studio might be Billy his, O'Leary Studios. Yeah. I believe you. Yeah. Well, look it up. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's an actor who's a, also. It shows you something about him because he's a successful actor with a long career who still cares about teaching the next generation uh, and being involved amazing. with he's with amazing. other people. He's really good. There's a lot of actors that just stay at home and enjoy their pools. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he yeah. loves it. He, he loves, loves it, the, yeah. The craft. Uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't see him doing anything else ever. He's uh, yeah, he's 100% actor. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Well, I'm, I'm curious with your, your next thing, mm-hmm. which, I don't know, is that... Expanding faded, or is it, or is it a new script? It's a new one. Okay. Uh, we do, we are trying to expand our our short film faded, which was kind of our proof of concept. Um, you know, it's so popular for people to do that with shorts now. I've got this theory that we've been seeing so many shorts over the last two years with ours. Uh, I would say like eighty percent of short films, seventy five percent of short films, I, I feel like are proof of concepts. Yeah. For well, I, that was my question is so mm-hmm. this next project, are you tempted to just do a five minute pull five minutes out of it and shoot it for mm. proof of concept since it's so high concept. Yeah. Maybe. We could maybe do like the first That's not a bad idea. Ten minutes, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. really. I mean <laughs> uh, we, it's funny because it didn't happen at the last film festival, but there's been quite a few film festivals that, that I've programmed where Every Q and A is well. So tell us what happens next because yeah. you're, you're clearly you you set. It's just a setup. Mm-hmm. It, it and it's really a compelling is, yeah. setup. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes there's a little bit of a hint of a third act to that yeah. setup, but but mm-hmm. normally it's just like you've established a character. Now I want to know what happens to that yeah, character. Right. Yeah. I, I yeah. would say seventy five to eighty percent. I feel like yeah. our proof of concept films. Yeah. 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 Which is what our last one was, and that's why we actually, did do a full story in our. Proof we of we did, yeah. It's a it's we a long proof of concept, yeah. yeah. Um, 
But if you have something so original, maybe you just have to show people. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's an idea. We'll see. Yeah, if, it, if we don't have any yeah. uh, <laughs> luck. <laughs> we could just shoot a... Shoot a yeah, no, do, it, do it the hard way first, because... <laughs> No, yeah, I, there's supposed to be going, people in this going. town, right? There's don't some want that, film yeah. producers are supposed to be able to yeah. read a script and envision it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. No, I, I mean, they are. Well, they're supposed to pay someone to read it and tell <laughs> yeah, them there's and a tell vision. Them right coverage about yeah. the script. Yeah, um, no, it's, it's an idea. We haven't maybe gotten that far along yet. Yeah, thinking that way, but that's an idea. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's Which a million is, of them. A million ideas. In this why thing. we wanted to do faces? We, you know, we did the proof of concept before, and we're just like, well, let's tell just let's make a short film. Yeah, you know, that is itself beginning, yeah. middle, end short film. Yeah. Um, Never want to make a feature of that. No, I, and I, <laughs> I don't think we could get Billy to come back anyway. No Not way. unless we had a lot of money. <laughs> Um, or maybe a what body it could be double. The faceless <laughs> men, and then have like ah. mirrors facing mirrors, yeah. facing mirrors. <laughs> yeah, it was tough. It was tough. I don't know if anybody's re- quite. Uh, yeah. I just made a behind the scenes video about oh, the did. making of. Yeah, um, it's about like nine minutes long, but it'll be up on our our website if anyone wants to. Because yes. you also did that, so you cut together the promo video you had before the festival that was the behind the scenes vibe yeah. to the, but it was just interviewing Billy and whatnot. Right? Yeah, we did like a couple short, like one minute little behind the scenes pieces, little like ones, marketing yeah. ones, but this one goes more into it and shows stuff that we didn't want to show, like, you know. You've got DVD pre-release. extras ready yes, to go. exactly. Yeah. 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 They're ready. <laughs> That's what we do, so, you know, we're, we're big into the behind the scenes. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. We had we had uh, our friend who's an excellent behind the scenes producer, and she shot all of it, and it was, it was great to have. It's, it's fun to document just because there's crazy things that happen that I forgot about. And now with some distance, we can yes, look yes, at the footage nice, and not cry. Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. But yeah, it's nice to have that. Yeah, remember, yeah. goes by so fast. It does. It certainly does. Especially. Yeah. Yeah. The the production is a blink, mm-hmm. and then the the post is an, is a marathon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It really mm-hmm. was. Yeah. On this one especially, the post. Yeah. On this one was it, it was a pretty involved process. And yeah. we worked on the music for a while too because oh, the, the music, yeah, the tone of the the. Music had to really communicate the tone. Had for to be us. just right because, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was get that levity. kind of a, already a kooky story. So, yeah, we needed to get the music to work and the, uh, just everything yeah. had to come together. Oh, but it, it really did. I was yeah, happy. without music, it wouldn't be a film. Yeah, mm-hmm. so important. Yeah, no, that was wonderful. Yeah. It all came together. Yeah. <laughs> How cute and cool are those two? I got to tell you, that was a really fun conversation for me. I mean, just about all the conversations on this podcast are fun to record. But for some reason, I just like those two. They're they're super likable. No wonder their film is likable. And talking about their film, yeah, go to discoveringdofilm.com and watch The Faceless Man right now. And after you watch The Faceless Man, there's a lot of other great shorts for you to watch there. And there's links to great feature films you can watch. And you can learn about the Sherman Oaks Film Festival that's in November or Film Invasion LA that comes up in June. You can learn all about awesome indie films at discoverindiefilm.com. All right. Thanks for listening.